Hello, my name is El Skipper and today I'm going to show you how to build your first mining vehicle. So we are starting off where we left off. So if you didn't watch last video, I was showing how to build your first vehicle. And this is the mining vehicle. We'll just evolve our old, old vehicle from that. So the first thing, we put our hinge and we add the hinge lock. It is very important not uh, to not have our drills fall down. Right now we are adding drills. Uh, as you can see, they have three types of doors on them one in the back and two at the other each side so we can stack drills uh, next to each other as you can see I'm trying to fit one right in here so I put one two and three and it's all looking great and handy dandy I'm pointing out right now that our hinge is currently sitting uh, right next to that small door which is at the front of the cockpit this type of a cockpit as you can see the hinge has uh, this type of a door on the back side and it is very important because it will make possible for us to transfer our uh, stone or our, our other minerals uh, our other ore uh, from the drills to the cargo container and to the connector as you can see on the back of the of our cockpit we have also uh, two doors we are right now trying to connect them using small conveyors uh, unfortunately for us, the medium cargo container doesn't have a small uh, small door on the back. It has only two small doors on the sides. So we need to connect a small door uh, into the small door using small conveyors. Right now, you see I am using a tube, a conveyor, uh, small conveyor tube. And it was showing yellow. Yellow means that it isn't connect yet, connected yet to the end. And the red one right now is showing as we as we finish it and that we don't have enough energy so we are adding again our battery and we see that our vehicle is working again we are also adding a gyroscope that we lost and it which is which is very very important sometimes so we can see our vehicle is practically done we have our first mining vehicle okay so let's configure it we are jumping into the cockpit looking at our hinge and taking hinge lock because we don't need it anymore and we don't want to have any more problems with that and we will try to set a lower and the upper limit on our hinge of course don't forget to add your block tools onto your toolbar by pressing G and adding your drills when you press, press right and left click you can change how you drill so the same as your hand, hand drill clicking the left mouse button will make you collect ore and stone and clicking the right one won't do it so we just, we'll just mine without any, taking any stuff so let's set the current angle as you can see we can change torque we can change braking torque we can reverse our hinge to reverse it you simply add a value to the velocity so we set it to half an rpm now by pressing reverse it will change uh, either it's moving up or down so we're setting a upper limit while doing so we are looking uh, at the current angle of the hinge so as you can see I made a small mistake I set our lower limit to 10 where I should uh, set it to minus 10 or minus 15 in this case and then you can see our hinge moved to the desired position and won't move any further so we add the hinge we use the command reverse on it and right now we can drill while, while using this hinge so as you can see we have our drills down and we can drill, which is which is great, which is what we wanted. So right now I'll be showing you drilling with this vehicle. So I'm just doing a copy for safety because we are going to jump and with the power of gyroscope and wheels, which are very resistant, at least in my opinion, we can easily see that we didn't take any damage. We can easily jump from any heights, almost, almost any heights. So right now I'm showing you how to drill with it. You press two, at least in this case, to move your hinge down and because of the angle we can easily drill into the ground even on even terrain but with the vehicle that is using wheels I would mostly advise you to drill onto the side of the mountains because it will be easier for you to drive because you don't have to go downhill and sometimes with this type of vehicles it might be a problem especially if you are full so we drilled a bit and looking at the cargo containers we can see we have some stone we could have some other ores and it is working perfectly and as we intended it to be so 
this will be all thank you guys for watching and i hope you'll see you in the next one bye